Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be carrying out a fairly straightforward replacement of the six spark plugs on my uh, E34 Alpina B10 3.5. Now, before we, uh, before we move on to that, I'm gonna tell you the reason why I'm going to do this job. And that is because uh, last week, I had, a, uh, I had a no start situation. Basically, the car was cranking perfectly fine, a good strong start motor, a good strong battery. Um, it just wouldn't fire. Um, I could hear um, a bit of popping and banging in the exhaust and there was a significant smell of fuel. Um, to that end, obviously that lends itself to a uh, ignition fault. So what I did was I pulled off the rotor arm and the distributor cap to find that the terminal was inside. Uh, inside the distributor cap were very, very furry, very, very corroded. They weren't bright brass like they normally are. And the end of the rotor arm was pretty much missing. It, it basically rusted away. So that obviously was the, uh, was the prime cause of the problem. As you can see, if I pop the cap off the distributor cap, um, I've got a brand new one in there. There's a rotor, a brand new rotor arm inside too. Um, and obviously I've replaced all the leads um, to the plugs and obviously to the coil. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, pull the six plugs out um, and replace them with uh, some brand new Bosch ones. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, what we'll do, we'll start at cylinder one and we'll work our way back. Um, each of the plugs can be found just on the side of the cylinder head. This is like a little heat shield from the exhaust because the exhaust manifold is just underneath this heat shield. So this protects the kit leads. All I'll do, pop the first one out, pop it over there out the way. I've got uh, my spark plug socket. This obviously has the little rubber bung inside to enable you to withdraw the plug without too much difficulty. There's not a lot of room to maneuver down the side of this airbox. And uh, with, when you've got big hands like mine, it does make it slightly more difficult. So let's whip them out. The, uh, the threaded section of these plugs on this particular car are quite long, so you're here for quite a while unwinding it. But it will come eventually. And there we go. And there's the plug. As you can see, it's quite black and dirty. Um, now, one thing to be uh, paid notice to is the end of the plug. What we need to do on the new one is match it. So I'll pop the old one in the box and stick it out of the way. And this will simply unscrew. Obviously, it's a little bit tighter than finger tight. So what I'll do, I'll get a little pair of pliers and I'll just um, prise that off. So here we are, a little set of pliers. Don't, don't worry too much about damaging it because it's not needed. And just unscrew it. And there we go. Pop that to one side because we don't need it anymore. So there we go. There's the, uh, there's the new plug. As you can see, nice and shiny, Bosch, Bosch item. Shouldn't need to gap it. it should be, uh, the gap should be, uh, should be fine. Pop it into the, pop it into the tool. and fit it into the spark plug well. Now, fitting spark plugs, don't get in here with tools to start with. Get the plugs into the cylinder head by hand first. Don't, don't get your ratchet on them, because if you haven't got it seated properly and you start tying it in, you will cross thread it into the head and you're in a world of trouble then, because then you've got to effect a repair to the cylinder head and you don't want to have to do that. So get it in. All I'm going to do for now is get it up to touch can put all six in up to touch 
and then I will come back and I will talk each one down. So there we go, there's the first one in. Leave the cable out. Number two. Come out with a pop. And same again. Get the tool in. Get it on the plug. very small amount of space to work with when you've got big hands like mine. the next one. Get a new plug. Same again, obviously we need to take the end off. Just like so. fit it into the tool and pop it back into the spark plug well. Again, turning it in by hand. All the way. Right, what I'll do now is I'll take the other four out, swap them all over, and then we'll bring you back in. Okay, so that's all six plugs changed. All I've got to do now is torque them up. Now, the book specification says 30 to 33 Newton meters uh, each, so I'm going to go with the upper of the two uh, tolerances and go 33 Newton meters. Here's my torque wrench. Get it on the end of me extension. Not a lot of room. So moving here. Obviously what we're aiming to do is just crush the little crush washer on the end of the plug, which will seal it nicely against the head. Start to tighten up, and there we are 33 newton meters. On to plug five, again, like I said before, hardly any room to maneuver. Five. 
and the little sockets just stayed on the plug. Let's just get it off. Right, what I'll do, I'll move on to four, and I'll do all the others, talk them all up, and then we'll bring you back. And there we go, that is all six plugs changed and torqued in. Now, each of the leads, get them in there, back on each plug. feel it just like grip when it's on and up. You can actually just about hear like a noise because it's the inside the inside of there is got a little spring in it slight slightly so as you push it on you can hear it going down the threads on the end. Don't know if you heard that or not. Invariably you do scuff your knuckles doing this job. Unfortunately, <sighs> number four. Number five. And last but not least, number six. And there we are, that's them all in and all connected up. So, what I want to do now fire the car up, make sure she runs okay. Hopefully we won't have any problems. One thing I have noticed while I've been under here is that there's a slight split in this intake boot just, just before the throttle body where the crankcase breather enters the, uh, enters the hose, there's a split in it, so that needs to be addressed. Otherwise we'll get a rough idle and also um, it's unmetered air at that point. So we, uh, we need, do need to fix that. So I'll um, have to get a new one of these, but uh, for the time being, she should run okay. So let me uh, let me get my keys and we'll fire her up. All right then, let's fire her up. Very <laughs> lucky. Right. Obviously, that's a stark contrast to the way uh, to the way she was running last week when um, when I had the ignition fault. So um, dizzy cap, the rotor arm, the plugs, and the new leads have obviously all. Um, had a good effect. So, yeah. Um, hopefully you like this video. Bit of a short one. Nothing too, uh, nothing too strenuous in this one. I uh, thought I'd do a, a video with the Alpina just for, uh, just for a change. Um, if you like it, stick me a thumbs up underneath. Leave a comment if you want to, and uh, I'll aim, endeavour to get back to you. Hopefully I'll see you all again for the next video. Take care. Bye bye now.